Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can log on to www.jcbrolabs.org. In this video, uh, we'll talk about uh, strap response and impulse response of the dynamic system using MATLAB. And we'll talk about various dynamic characteristics of the system. So let's first define our dynamic system transfer function. So let's say S equals to TF. Uh, this defines S as a variable in S domain. Uh, let's say we have a system S equals to 1 upon S square plus 10 into S plus so let's have a look how our system looks like so this is the transfer uh, or dynamic equation or the transfer function of our system so let's first uh, have a look on the impulse response of the system so we'll type a command impulse and then system so it will generate a system so impulse response is uh, going towards zero so it is specified like this system is a stable system or oh, it up so it up it's up to you how you want to uh, correlate uh, this impulse response with the theoretical results now let's have a strap response for a strap response we need to just have type strap and system so in other sense it is an open loop uh, system response when applied to the strap input so this gives the strap response and let's have a comparative view as uh, we, you can see this response the maximum value which can be attained by this transfer function without any feedback is uh, 0 0.05 in amplitude so let's have a comparison like uh, we will say strap 1 comma 1 and then hold on and then step of system so uh, you can see a little blue line and there's a green line so this was our response and this was actual input to the system we can also check the properties from here like peak response is one settling time it is like 1.59 seconds then rise time 2.084 and like steady state what is the value all the characteristics has been shown there now those uh, values were given on the graph now in any case uh, if we want to uh, uh, plot or if we want to use this dynamic characteristics value in some other program so we need uh, these values separately so for that command uh, for getting the step response information like the dynamic characteristics we have a command like step info and then system so it will give all the values like what was the rise time that is 0.9 second settling time 1.59 second and all those were like what is the minima uh, what is setting maxima that is 0.05 amplitude and so on. so uh, through this way you can easily find uh, the strap response of any dynamic system and you can also find the dynamic characteristics if you write like h equals to a strap system then it, it returns a matrix of h which contains the various value like uh, it has taken 219 samples into account so if we say size of h so it has taken 219 samples uh, for calculating the strap response of this particular system. So let's have a look and clear all again. Uh, let's say um, we define a different function, transfer function. And let's say system is equals to let's say 1 by s plus 1. And let's have a strap response of system. So now this red curve shows the strap response. So actually it's a hold on command. So it is plotting in the previous graph. Let's say it's again on this one. We can also uh, 
check the frequency response of the system through border plot and we can do by body sys so it will draw a border plot of the system and as um, uh, usual and this is the border plot having minus 20 db uh, per decade of the roll off factor so this very easy to understand or to analyze the dynamic system through the transfer function equation uh, so that's it for this video and i hope you have understand a lot uh, through this short video in the upcoming video we will talk about how to improve the strap response of the dynamic system through a feedback as you already know the pid controllers or the pi or the proportional controllers we use to improve the steady state response of the system so as uh, you see in the previous uh, system dynamic characters the maximum value was up to of 0.05 while we were trying to get is uh, uh, amplitude of one so we'll set that a set point and we'll apply a controller there and we'll look how it looks like so in upcoming video we'll talk about pid controllers and various other controllers like that so till then thank you and thanks for watching